In this video, I will show you an example of a straight wire and I will also show you how to find the direction of the magnetic field from a current flowing in a straight wire. So what I have here is, um, it is a wire, I'm not connecting it to anything, so there is no current really flowing, but I don't need it to show you uh, the directions of the magnetic field. Now, if you take this wire and you stretch it and make sure that you keep it straight, then this is how you can easily create a straight wire. Now, okay, let's say I have this and let's say that I have a current um, flowing in this straight wire. I'm now letting it rest on the on the plane of my uh, of my table. Let's say that I have a current flowing here and the current is flowing this way. Okay? So the conventional current goes this way, electrons are moving the opposite way, of course. The right hand rule that you can use to find the direction of the magnetic field created by this current. You start with your thumb and place your thumb in the direction of the conventional current. So I am using, of course, my right hand and I'm placing my thumb here. Now what I do, I'm gonna curl my fingers and at the point where my where the tips of my fingers actually come in contact with my whiteboard this is a whiteboard here at this point at this point my fingers point straight down so at this point right here my fingers point straight down and this is telling me that the magnetic field here due to this current goes into the page. Now, on the other hand, if I want to find the direction of the magnetic field here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with my thumb pointing in the direction of the conventional current. And then if you want, maybe I can do this. I'm, I'm wrapping, um, I'm wrapping my hand around the current, and at this point, my fingers show me a direction that goes out of the page. So the magnetic field here goes out of the page. Now, what is the magnetic field somewhere here? That is, uh, that is simply just higher above the wire. If I do this then at that point, my fingers are pointing in that direction. So somewhere, somewhere here, okay, which is higher than the wire, the magnetic field goes that way. Now, I will do it from a different perspective so that you can see, so that you can see um, also this different perspective in case this will help you. Now, instead, um, because it is difficult for you to see the wire, if I keep it um, uh, in, in this direction, somewhat difficult for you to see and somewhat difficult for me to hold it here, I'm going to pretend that this marker is my straight wire. And I will say, say that the conventional current is moving towards you, okay? Now, to find the direction of the magnetic field here, so this is my observation location, my thumb needs to point in the direction of the conventional current, so it points up towards you, and then I curl my fingers of my right hand. At this point, my fingers point this way. This is the direction of B. Now, if I want to find the direction of the magnetic field here, I need to do the same thing. My thumb in the direction of the current, my fingers now point this way. And same thing if my observation location is here and here, I would do something like this. And this goes this way and somewhat difficult all the way here hope you can see it goes up 
so it's gonna go this way this is these are the four directions of the magnetic field around the current that is flowing in the wire in this direction if you were using let's say if I want to find the direction of the magnetic field here I would be doing something like this and the magnetic field here would point that way now you can see I hope you can see that the pattern when you have uh, when you have current flowing in a straight wire the the magnetic field is essentially wrapping oops, is wrapping around my wire now I can show you the perspective if the current is flowing into the page so if if this is the current and it's going into the page and I want to find the magnetic field here I would do the same thing I would place my my thumb in the direction of the current into the page and my fingers are now pointing this way if I want to find the magnetic field here my thumb goes in the direction of the current and my fingers now point this way I do I do strongly recommend that um, that you practice with this right hand rule it will take you a little bit of practice until you uh, you become comfortable uh, but you do need to practice and if you can start practicing with examples that uh, I just did um, you, you will have some assurance that you are doing it correctly